Good afternoon, everyone. It's your girl, Annie. Welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new here. And I just want to say really quickly that the channel has picked up some speed over the last couple of days and I am so, so appreciative to everyone that's watched the videos, given a like, subscribed to the channel. It means so much to me and I am so happy to have you here. Now, today is another collective thrift haul of sorts. However, it's things that I... I'm actually going to put in an Etsy store or sell on Facebook Marketplace with shipping. I'm not quite sure yet. I think I'm going to go the Etsy route. I figured I would go ahead and do a little haul and then include me opening an Etsy store. Include me posting on Etsy. I don't know. I think that would be interesting so you guys can see what I pick up, how much I paid for it, and then me flipping it. And I have a lot of stuff, okay? I didn't realize it was kind of becoming a little hoarding situation, so I'm just going to try to rush through this as best as I can, but I found some really good things, so I just had to share. I don't even know where to begin. I could go store by store, but everything is kind of sprinkled in there, so I'm just going to grab things, and we're just going to go ahead and get started. So, the first thing, let's start with a spooky mug. So, I found this guy. Look at the cute little ghosties and the pumpkins. This little guy right here. At This was at the Salvation Army. They pulled out a cart fresh from the back and I saw a couple of mugs. I was interested looking at them and I picked this one up and I looked at the bottom and it is an omnibus copyrighted in 1993. So I did my little Google lens and this guy was selling for like $17 on various websites. So I snagged it and I paid 49 cents for this guy. And he's cute. The next thing is this really pretty stoneware plate. It is a Mikasa of the whole wheat line. It's got the like serial number and it says made in Japan. This was $1.99. They sell anywhere from like 10 to $12 online. So pick that guy up. And keeping along with that theme, I picked up these really cute little tea plates. They were 49 cents a piece, but I want to say they were either, I want to say they were 25% off this day with the green sticker. They are again, Mikasa brand. They've got the little serial number made in Japan. So I saw someone online was selling a set of nine of these for like 60 something dollars. So I picked up six of them. I have another set of three. They're wrapped. They're going to stay that way until I clean them. So, some more items. These are cute, too. Like, really pretty colors. And the next thing. This is actually probably one of my favorites. It's this little serving tray. Look at those florals. They are so pretty. 99 cents. Crazy. And it's got... The branding on the back, something about Triumph for Limoges made in the USA. It's got the design pattern. This is Sun Valley. I don't know. It's really pretty. Another thing to sell online. And this is something that if I don't sell it, I'm going to keep it. The next item is going to be these really, <laughs> these really pretty plates. It's like blue floral with the edging and the rim. Really pretty. It's town and country blue ridge pattern. These are genuine stoneware made in Japan. I got two of these, as you saw. They were $1.99, but green, I remember this, was half off that day, so they were only a dollar a piece. And I think I saw online they were running like 20 something dollars for the pair. That's not bad. And you'll see just in my personal style, but also the things that I gravitate towards and that I put in my hauls are more on the neutral side, darker, more muted tones. So I was very shocked when I was like, oh, these are pretty. Super colorful, super not my taste, but because I was in the mindset of let me find things that I can resell, I was like, these are probably, these are probably valuable, right? And I have another one. They're just a little bit different in design. Both very pretty. These are Unicat brand. Handmade, hand painted 
Polish dishes. And the other one. So these are stunning, basically. And I obviously Google lensed everything while I was in the store just to make sure that it, the profits would be worth it. It's hard to find these exact, they're like pasta bowls, these exact bowls online. But I did some research when I got home and one of these little pasta bowls is selling on a website that sells like Danish pottery like this for like 90 something dollars. So I'm not gonna sell these for like 90 something dollars, but I know that they are valuable and they were only $2 a plate bowl. <laughs> so I definitely picked these up, they are stunning. I think someone is really gonna like these. Let's just move on to the next serving tray, dishware thing. So I bought this really pretty. It's a false graph uh, serving tray, but I picked this up. It was 99 cents at Goodwill and like this crackling under the glazing. I know people go nuts for that stuff. So I snatched it off the shelves. It's in great condition. No chips, no nothing. I saw that these go for like 20 something dollars again. And I bought it for a dollar. Snag that. So I'm still learning on what is valuable, what is not, but I really just pick up things that my eyes catch, right? So I saw these in the store and picked them up. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me below because I'm actually learning a lot about vintage dishware, plates, all that kind of stuff. And I post a lot of my really quick thrift with me's here. You would have seen these, but picked these up. I was like, oh, those are really pretty. I like that colored glass, the gold rim. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this on my camera. There you kind of see it. And it says Anchor Hawking Fire King. And I was like, I know that's valuable. So snatch these up really quick. I have four of them. If you can see four for two bucks. No, they are valuable. That was a very exciting find for me. I have a variety of candle holders, so we'll move on to those. I found these little cuties. These were, I believe, $1.99 per candlestick, but I'm like 89% sure that these were half off, so a dollar a piece. These are Toll, T-O-W-L-E. I'll put a little picture right here. Crystal candlestick holders. The pair and these are like stunning the detail on them so snatch those really quick those I think the comps were like 30 to 45 dollars two dollars guys these are really cool I am always scavenging the bins like when they pull them right out from the back at the Salvation Army I hello I love that store so I saw these and I honestly didn't even look at the price I was just like yeah we're taking these so they were $2.99 per candlestick but I just thought these are really cool very mid-century retro wooden candlesticks they're different these are definitely somebody's style somebody definitely needs these the third pair of candlesticks that I have are these beauties they are porcelain with a 24 karat gold rim here here and on the bottom and these are a Lennox brand I don't think you can see that is it gonna focus is it gonna focus porcelain Lennox brand candlestick holders stunning these were two dollars a piece can't beat it and the last pair of candlesticks that I picked up, unless there are more hiding in these bags, are these little cuties. I'm not a clear glass crystal person. Personally, I love brass, but I saw these and I was like, these are kind of interesting and the bottom kind of matched these that I picked up. So I was like, huh, what are these? And when I picked it up off the shelf, I realized that there is some weight to this. So this has to be crystal. Did my Google Lens, 
it's right up here i'll put it there for you and these i am 98 percent sure are waterford crystal glass not glass waterford crystal candlestick holders they need to be cleaned they're a little crusty but these are like so nice and they were again two dollars per candlestick holder and profitable so i again snatch these oh we're like almost done that's not bad so we're gonna do some mugs now the first pair of mugs that i got these were totally not my style but i'm learning that when i'm like oh those aren't my style but they're interesting do a little research so i picked up these i want to say these are tea mugs and they are some sort of italian designer tempered italian glass for 50 cents a piece these were selling for like 30 some dollars so i snagged those really quick and i think they're really cool try it out give it a shot the next little cutie that i picked up was this so cute like so cute little singular coffee mug tea mug whatever you want to use it as it is japanese stoneware cumberland may blossom super cute i have yet to do a google lens on this i initially picked it up because i wanted to keep it but i don't drink coffee i don't drink tea so i'm gonna sell it and i think it's just a darling little mug so cute uh this was 50 cents Ooh. yes so i grabbed this it's a ralph lauren mug with this like crest on it gold rim gold rim here's the bottom it says lauren by ralph lauren estate crest white made in thailand so did my google lens profitable snagged it for only 49 cents i have zero recollection of what this mug is so it'll be like christmas oh my little vintage pyrex mug pyrex so cute so i know vintage pyrex is like all the rage i guess to some there's a there's a community out there i know that love it so i snagged this for only 49 cents little cutie okay we are almost done the last two three items are scores they are my some of my favorite things that i picked up so again this is a piece that if i don't sell it i have zero problems keeping because i love it it is this adorable little serving tray look at that stunning and do you see viking glass so stunning it's got no chips on it at all it's in great condition i paid 2.99 for this again if you're not following me on instagram follow me here because i did post this beauty as soon as i picked it up and i love it vintage viking glass little serving tray this would be so cute in like a bathroom or something adorable and the last pair of items that i have again i snatch everything when i like it and i see it but i saw these and i was like mine mine i actually really like them and i have never in person seen these kinds of canisters i only see them online from other resellers so i know that they are on the rare side and that they are profitable so this is what i found these amazing vintage pyrex canisters so cute i love how they are they're not like a pop-off they're they're a screw like you screw the top on so cute pyrex this was a dollar 99 and this one was 2.99 like these are so cute love those so that was the last piece that i picked up again all of these items are going to be for resale and they are going to go up in an etsy shop i think i made up my mind i'm gonna make an etsy store 
all of these are going to be posted there so my next step is to get all of these pieces clean scrub them make sure they look in tip-top shape get all those stickers off with the gunk off of them and i will pop back in here as soon as i've got some listings put up i will show you what they look like and i will also put in this video an update on when the etsy store is live and how much things sell for what my profit was because that's always the fun part so i will get right on into that all right everyone i am back and i will just go ahead and let y'all know now this video is several weeks in the making i got a little overwhelmed <laughs> with this video and wanting to post every single item from the haul portion in my Etsy store and with everything else just on my plate, it wasn't happening. So instead of putting this video off any further, I did go ahead and post a few things. There are 10 live posts in my Etsy store. It is open. It is called Thrifted by Annie. Here it is right here. So I do have 10 things available for purchase at the moment. Some are from the haul portion and the other things are things you guys haven't seen yet, but I will be sprinkling some listings in there here and there. We are in the process of moving. That's a whole other thing, but I just wanted to come on here and let you know that the Etsy store is live. It's open, I've done it. But also, if there was anything that you all saw in the haul portion that is not available for purchase in the Etsy store as of right now, and it's something you want, go ahead and send me a DM to my Instagram. Let me know what it is and we will work something out. But also, if you guys check out my Etsy store and you are coming from this video, send me a message, you know, contact the seller in Etsy, send me a message, let me know you are coming from YouTube and I will give you a 10% discount. That is gonna be it for me today. This video took way longer than I wanted to to get out, but here it is, and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, as always, give the video a like. Let me know down in the comments what was your favorite thing that I picked up, and also, if you're liking the content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I will let you know now that next week's video is another huge collective thrift haul, and it's a good one. You are not gonna wanna miss it. And until then, bye guys.